Hi folks, we're going to be covering um, drawing and solving and I guess sketching ellipsis. Let's get started. Okay, here's the question. For x squared divided by 25 plus y squared divided by 16, which equals 1, determine the coordinates of the center, x and y coordinates, foci, and then draw the ellipse. So first step, we're going to draw ourselves a set of axes. Now, we know that the center is going to be at 0, 0 because of x squared and y squared. What we do know is that a squared is equal to 25. Now, if a squared equals to 25, then we know that a is equal to plus or minus 5. Knowing those two values, we can actually sketch them straight away. There's positive 5, and there's minus 5. Now, the next thing is b squared is equal to 16, which means b is equal to plus or minus 4. And now we can draw the b values, and you have a sort of an outline of the ellipse. There it is. Now, what do we need next? Foci. To figure out the foci, well, we know that it's c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. So we have 25 take away 16, which is 9, which means c is equal to plus or minus 3. So there's the positive um, foci, and well, positive 3, and then there's the minus 3, 0. So as I said in the earlier video, um, you know, we, we, we learned a lot of things, but, um, you know, just if, if you've practiced, practiced them enough and you kind of start seeing everything fitting together. All right, now what happens if the center is not at the origin at 0, 0? Well, let's have a look at that question. So I've got the same A values and B values as the previous question. So in this one, um, I want to have a look at what happens when the center is actually moved. So I'm going to draw that um, previous graph so you can have a look at it. So here's the um, diagram from the previous question. x squared over 25 plus y squared over 16 equals 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this changes. Now the center, this is very much similar to how we did in the circles. So the center is actually going to move one on the x-axis and two on the y-axis on the positive directions. So that's where my new center is going to be. Which means from the center, the a value is still the same. It's still going to be plus or minus five. So from the center, I need to go five across to the right and five to the left to give me my two A values. And for the B values, I go four to the top and four to the bottom. And there I have the outline of my ellipse. The two foci, the two foci are three units away from the center of the circle in the uh, center of the ellipse in the original, in the red equation, which means the foci is still gonna be the same. It's gonna be three units from the center to the right and three units to the left. So this is basically just mo um, movement of the center for ellipses. Okay, moving on. All right, now you're going to get questions like these where um, you're not given in the standard general equation format. And just like how we did in circles, for ellipses you have to learn how to complete the square and that's what I'm going to do in this for this question so guys I'm going to start completing the square for this first I'll look at the, um, the 4x squared minus 8x uh, you should have had enough practice completing the square by now um, so I'm just going to run through this real quickly done the x part there now I'm just working through the y Now I'm bringing everything together because I've um, completed both the x's and the y's. So from this point onwards, it's basically just simplifying and rearranging. So from here, uh, well, there was the 4 that moved down there. So simplify everything, so which means move um, your constant, the number by itself, to the right-hand side. 
as you can see I've kind of run out of room here guys I'm gonna work continue on this problem on the next slide now this is where we left off in the last slide now I know that the right hand side needs to be 1 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide both sides by 36 which means my right hand side will now be 1 Now, as you can see 4 is um, well it's 36 is a multiple of 4 and it's also a multiple of 9 which means I can cancel out the 4 and 36 to leave 9 there and on the other side I'd actually get y minus 2 squared divided by 4 which equals 1 so now if I want to sketch this uh, sketch my center first which is going to be at 1 2 uh, because my a value is 9 it's going to be 3 to the right and 3 to the left and because b squared is 4 it's going to be b sorry it's going to go 2 above and 2 below now I have the general shape of my ellipse there it is and that's how you solve this problem by completing the square that's it for this session guys thanks for watching